How is it going guys and welcome back to Pokemon Academy Life. Now, I'm a bit hungover and I thought that the best way for me to get rid of a hangover was to play a game that involves a lot of talking and that was, that's a joke if you can't tell because if you have a hangover, you don't want to be talking too much because your throat hurts and your voice is deeper than usual. So, this should be interesting. <laughs> but yeah, um... Basically, in the last episode, we ended up finishing off the Brendan route, Brendan's roommate route uh, in the demo, so I thought that we could extend the series and do all of the other routes with different class combinations. Not every single one, just each of the roommates, and with a different, because I'm not going to do 1,224 type combinations. <laughs> I'm not doing that, I'm not doing it. But yeah, um, last time we did Brendan, so this time... I want to go straight into Churen. No, I don't. I want to go to Kalem. I think I want Kalem. We'll, we'll go with Kalem this episode. I legitimately had no idea who I was going to pick there, so... I approach a serious-looking boy with long hair who seems lost in thought while browsing on his phone. The image of my face reflects off of his rather peculiar sunglasses that he wears over his hat. Hello, Kalem. Yes? What should I ask? What's your name? Yeah, what's your name, mate? The name's Kalem. What's yours? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna think about what voice to give him. Probably just give him a typical American, but great. Time to tell him my entire life story. Well, maybe not. I think we can save that for another day. I see. Alex from Pallet Town. That's pretty far away in the Kanto region. But I'm from Kalos, which is just as far. Heh, <laughs> must have been a long ride to get here, huh? What should I ask next? Keeping yourself busy. Yeah, let, let's, let's go keeping yourself busy. I want to know what, what your life story is, pal. I wasn't sure if you were busy with something. You look like you're keeping yourself preoccupied here. You have sharp eyes. I'll give you that. There's a lot I want to get out of the way before classes start next week, so I was taking note. Just going to turn the sound down ever so slightly. There we are. There's a lot I want to get out of the way before classes start next week, so I was taking notes and organizing my priorities. For example, class registration, room space, the dorming thing. You know, the works. I wouldn't be hanging out here in the lounge if I was against people approaching me. This guy knows what's up. <laughs> what should I ask next? Looking for a roommate? Let's find let's find out. Any chance you're looking for a roommate here? Yeah, actually. That's one of the many things on the to-do list. Were you thinking about rooming with me? A complete stranger? As far as first impressions go, he seems like a very responsible guy. And if I think about it, it might do me some good to room with someone like him. Let's room with Caleb. Yep, I'm in. Expression increased! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't think I can say no to your enthusiasm. Okay, I'm in as well. Let me know when you want to go reserve a room. Let's go right now, mate. Ready when you are. Uh, oh my god, I I'm getting my accents completely mixed up. <laughs> cool, let's go then. Yes, mate, Caleb is my roommate. What are you saying, mate? Something about Caleb tells me he'll be a good influence. The way he carries himself and how he clearly prioritizes everything he needs to do sets a great example. I feel I'll get a lot done as long as he's around. The first thing on the agenda is to reserve a room in the Academy's residence hall. Let's go, mate, let's go reserve a room. Have you thought about where you prefer the room to be? There are three floors in this uh, three floors in this particular building. Caleb's voice trails off as he looks behind me. I turn to face what Caleb's looking at. A slender girl with average build and shoulder-length voluminous hair was approaching us. Oh, vol voluminous! There we are, voluminous hair. Hello, Serena. How are you doing today? I like your waist-high skirt. It's funny because I actually had an ex-girlfriend who dressed a lot like that. <laughs> She had legitimately the same outfit, apart from with, like, short hair, like, proper short hair, and she wouldn't wear a hat with sunglasses on it. But she dressed very similarly, and it was, uh, it was interesting because, yeah, <laughs> she always reminded me of, of Serena, so. She certainly locked in on Caleb. She didn't even glance in my direction. There's certainly something graceful about her. I can't really describe it. At least from literal first impressions, she seems like a girl with a respectful background. Some people just give off that type of aura when you see them. Caleb? As she drew closer, I realized that she wasn't particularly tall, nor had an imposing appearance. Yet she has that expression that defines confidence and resolution. She definitely what doesn't look like one of those shy and decisive girls. Despite only seeing her for the first time, I'm afraid to take my eyes off of her. Like she's going to end- uh, oh wow. Like she's going to end up leaving me in the dust. Oh really now? Oh, hello, Serena. Uh, I had no idea you were enrolled here. Same for me. I didn't think I'd find you here. So, since we managed to find each other, are you busy? Uh, maybe? <laughs> because I'm kind of standing right here? Caleb gestured towards me without a word. Serena looks at me for the first time since she came into view. She flashes me a bright smile. Oh no, quick, think of something to say. 
If those glasses are people that people mistake you for a <laughs> Yes, mate. <laughs> I really want to say that. I'm Caleb's homeroom teacher. Yes, mate. Nah, with those glasses, I bet people mistake you for a hoot hoot. I'm doing it. Man, those glasses are funky. Are you dressing up for the hoot hoot convention? <laughs> they're both just like, what? <laughs> Caleb and Serena go silent and stare at me like they're peering deep into the fathoms of my soul. <laughs> Wait, is Serena giggling? <laughs> Appeal increased. Yes, mate. <laughs> oh, I wish I had my Jolteon hat with me so I could just pop it on, but oh well. Yes, I do suppose they're, they are quite big, aren't they? I do suppose they are quite big, aren't they? Would you believe me if I told you they're a present from my parents? Everyone thinks they're silly looking, but I think they're adorable. I give Caleb a quick glance. There's an exasperated but relieved look on his face. <laughs> Phew, looks like I managed to weasel my way out of this one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, look at the time. I have to get going. I'm going to run some errands with a few girls I met earlier today, but it's really great to see you here. Let's catch up later. Sure, I'll see you around. <laughs> He's gonna give me a stare now, isn't he? Like, what the f- <laughs> Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just make sure I, I cut that out. And she's gone. It seems like Serena and Caelan are quite familiar with each other, yet she was out of there in less than a minute. From the brief encounter, I have a feeling this won't be the last I see of her. Friend of yours? You can you can say that. Uh, you can say, oh my god. You can say that. Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell am I saying? You can say that. We're neighbors in our hometown and meet up occasionally. She didn't say anything to me about enrolling here, though. I wonder why. Ah. Uh, since we're going to be roommates, we should exchange contact information. You know, in case we need to call each other if there's a uh, call each other if there's an emergency. Oh yeah, good thinking. You see, Caleb's deeds. That's when all the guys no more. I've got me. What are you saying? Yes, me. <laughs> all right, let's go get this room booked. Yes, me. Let's go get a room booked. Caleb and I managed to get in line to reserve our room. The lineup signs. Uh, the sign-up lines were going longer by the minute, but we managed to squeeze our way in before it got too unreasonable. The brief encounter with Serena didn't cost us anything. As first-year students, we don't have too many choices for room locations. It seems rooms on the second floor are the most desirable, considering the upperclassmen have reserved all of them already. Caleb said he preferred the first floor since it's easier to get in and out of the building that way. Also, it's easier for us to escape in case of a fire. Caleb commented in a, a remarkably calm voice as he signed his share of documents. I was going to counter with something along the lines of buildings collapsing and, get and us getting bur uh, buried alive, but I, was I decided against it. Banter. <laughs> I have some personal business to take care uh, to care of. To take care of, that will be. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. There's a couple of spelling mistakes that have been noted already, but hey ho. I have some personal business to take care of at the registration office. Something about my recommendation letters, if I remember correctly. I'm suspecting other students are probably there for other reasons, so I'd like to get there before it closes. Okay, cool. You need me to come with you? No, it's all right. Hey, why don't you take a look around the building? You don't need to worry about me. I already took a tour during the academy's open house a while back. That's a good idea. So I'll catch you later? Yeah, give me a call if you need anything. See ya. Yes, mate, caleb has gone. Now I've got time to go exploring. See what happens, mate. Where am I going? Who am I gonna meet? And the Glaceon and Umbreon room again. I take it I'm just gonna meet Leaf again? Maybe? Yep, I'm lost. I've been wandering these hallways for at least 30 minutes and I can't find a single faculty member. I've asked whatever students I bumped into, but their directions made no sense. What does left at the tranquil wings exit and diagonally past the skywalk even mean? Should I call Caleb? No, he's probably too busy with his errand. I doubt even much help over the phone. I'll just have to keep trudging along until I find a teacher or a student that can give me some coherent directions. But man, there aren't many people walking around this hallway. In fact, I don't think I, think I see a, a sieving ling- <sighs> Let's try that again. In fact, I don't think I see a single living thing in sight. I close my eyes and weakly put my fist against the wall. Typical. My first few hours here and I can't even find my way around my own residence hall. Hey buddy, what do you think you're doing? Wah! I spin around and jump back two feet. A girl's voice came from two inches behind my ear. Hello, Leaf. Sure enough, there's a strange girl standing in front of me with a puzzled look on her face. Yes, Leaf. Is she an upperclassman? But that's impossible. They should all be moving into their dorms right by now. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, we've been through this, I think. This, the girl gives me a disapproving look, like I'm the one in the wrong here. Doesn't she know she just nearly made me piss my pants? 
I could ask you the same thing. I could ask you the same thing. Do you have any idea where you are? I take a closer look at my surroundings. Nothing really out of the ordinary, just a hallway of dorm, uh, dorm rooms, right? On closer inspection, there's something written on the signs here. Third year women's dormitory. Big red letters. That's weird. I didn't know female-only dorms existed at the school. Aren't the halls supposed to be co-ed? Wait, I think I recall seeing something on the this. Eh. Oh my god, I just cannot speak today. I think I recall seeing something on the room signups about gender-exclusive dorms, but that option's only available for the juniors and seniors. Yeah, that was definitely it. Okay. Wait, no, not okay! I hope this girl's more understanding than she looks. I just have to play it off cool to save what little pride I have. But how can I play it cool knowing that I just stumbled into the one of the most forbidden places a male freshman can be? Freshman can be, there we are. I don't think it's as bad as if I was caught peeping into the girls' locker rooms, but it's really going to be hard convincing people I got lost like this on the first day. I look up helplessly at the girl, and she's giving me this look like she's watching a growl of Chase's own tail. God, I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed in my life. So you are lost. I started following you a few hallways back because I thought you were some kind of pervert, but you're just another student. I don't think the brochure's that hard to follow. I mean, the design of the dorm wings are laid out in a grid, so it should be really easy to navigate. Here, let me see yours. I'll ignore that first comment, but brochure? Now that she mentions it, I vaguely remember those other students carrying around small leaflets from before. A mischievous grin spreads across the girl's face like she knows exactly what's going through my mind. Don't tell me. You didn't pink one up? You seriously went all this time without a map, and then you made it all the way here from the main hall? I have to say, your sense of direction is amazing. Uh, wait, no it's not, it's just hopeless. <laughs> I have to say, I'm already not a huge fan of this girl's personality. Yeah, alright. Are you just going to keep laughing or can you help me out? Uh, get out of here? Oh, since you are so nicely, I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> you little... Yeah, she was totally ditching us to go shop. That sounded like another girl, yep. In fact, we're going to have to go into the toilet in a minute, so... Right, she's going to grab your hand and drag you deeper into the hallway and stuff. Hold on, is she trying to save me? She was acting so snobby just now, but maybe somewhere in that insufferable personality, she's not such a bad girl after all. Look, you don't have to try and help me. I'll just explain to them what- Shh! Keep your voice down! If I'm seen here with you, those seniors are gonna grill me too! Huh. Why? Aren't you a senior? No, I'm a freshman, and I don't want rumors spreading that I'm with someone like you before I've even had my first class. Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> she stops me in front of a tall door as she goes in. Stay here. As she closes the door behind her, I casually glance towards the sign that clearly and unmistakably represents the girl's bathroom. Okay, hide in here. I'll come and get you when the coast is clear. Uh, hello? The sign says it's the girl's bathroom. Yeah, I have eyes too. It's the only room that's not locked in this hallway, so get in before they see us. Oh, hell no. The girl's bathroom is a female's most private sanctuary. I can't possibly defile it with my male presence. But this is a pretty serious crisis we have on our hands. What should I do? You know what? I want to jump out the window. We didn't do it before. I'm jumping out the window, mate. This might be a little drastic, but you know what they say. Drastic times call for drastic measures. I have a better idea. You're making me go in there so I can hide from those girls, right? Yeah, what about it? And this is the second floor, am I right? Okay, so? So I should be able to theoretically survive a two-story fall from here since there's all grass below. Hey, do those windows have locks on them? Yeah, they do. Why do you- The girl stopped moving. I think she stopped blinking too. Uh oh, did I break her? You didn't finish your sentence. Uh, are you telling me you want to jump out the window? Well, well, of course I don't want to, but looking at the way things are now, that seems to be the most foolproof way out of this. I'd be outside too, so I can find my way back to the entrance easily. Two Pidgeys, one stone. Get in the bathroom. <laughs> Just get in the bathroom. Get in the bathroom now. What about the window idea? I said get in the damn bathroom! The girl flings the door open and practically throws me in. <laughs> Did she shut the lights off too? That's creepy, man. Just be good and sit there. I'll be right back. She didn't even give me the opportunity to counter. Immediately after the door shuts, I can hear her running off towards the approaching voices. Guess she's going to convince them not to look in here. But who is that girl anyway? She's not an upperclassman, but the way she handled those that uh, yeah. the way she handled that whole debacle was impressive, not gonna lie. It's almost as if she's experienced this kind of pressure before. You know, I haven't had much time to think about it until now, but what kind of situation is this? This is the kind of thing you see happen in comics or TV shows. I wonder how my younger self would react if I told him that he's going to end up hiding from girls alone in the girls' bathroom. And she comes back in. Okay, come on out, banter. Yes, mate. That was fast. What'd you say to them? 
I just told them that I saw a shiny Eevee in the grass on the uh, tall grass on the opposite side of the building. That should keep them busy for a while. That's a good one. I bet they made a beeline for it. Shiny Eevee? Hell, I don't think I'd be able to resist an opportunity like that either. This girl's know what uh, this girl knows what makes Pokemon enthusiasts tick. Yeah, mate, shiny Eevee. I've never seen a pack of girls turn he run uh, turn heel and run so fast before. I wonder what it makes you wonder what their priorities are in life right now. Oh, before I forget, here I took one of their brochure things that they drop. They dropped. If I recall, you really need it. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Literally. Don't mention it. But that detour just now really put me behind schedule. I have to get to the main hall before I'm late. But you know, despite everything that happened, it was kind of... A lot of fun. <laughs> Probably the most fun I've had in a while. Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. And she goes away, and I forget to get on her name or a number. So, unfortunately, I don't have a chance. But... <gasps> Yay! Okay, I've I've seen this area before. I want to see if they've made any like anything new here. So, well, let's go. I lean back up against the wall and stretch. After that crazy chain of events, it felt like the day should already be over. It's not even late in the afternoon, and I can I feel like crawling into bed and sleeping forever. I think I should get moving again, or else I might just doze off standing here. <clears throat> wow. Hello, Serena and Sharon. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, aren't you the guy that was with Caleb earlier? Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> Where'd they come from? I almost slammed the back of my head against the wall out, out of surprise. This girl, Serena, was it? She was also with a rather stuffy looking but well dressed boy. They were probably walking this way while I was nodding off. Are you by any chance his roommate? Yeah, we actually just finished signing up for a room. I did the same a little while ago with a good friend of mine. We weren't planning on rooming together at first, but we both agreed it was convenient. Oh, excuse my rudeness. I'm Sharen. You can call me Alex. And you're Serena, right? That's correct. I assume you got that from Caelan. We get the standard icebreakers out of the way. What year are you in? Where are you from? Region? Hometown? How did you get here? How long did it take? The usual stuff. So Sharen's from Unova, I'm from Kalos, and you're from Kanto? We have quite the diverse little group here. Oh, and I almost forgot. What were you saying before, Sharen? Ahem. <clears throat> I was talking about really making use of our time here in the Academy. There's no doubt we'll have our share of classes and extracurriculars. We have to think long term. As a member of the student body, it's our responsibility to impact the academy's culture for future generations. Man, we haven't even been here a day. Classes don't start until next week and you're already thinking about leaving your legacy here at school? Was what I wanted to say, but I don't think Chiren's finished with his speech yet. He's the go-getter type, that's for sure. So something like the student council, where you're working with both the students and the school staff, am I close? Precisely. And to get the most out of it, it'll be best to work with people you know you can trust. I've done leadership work before, but I'm not so keen on going all out over here. As a member, not as a member, sure, but if you're talking leader leader, like the president, then that's probably better suited for you. Serena, too? These two, they're from another planet, it's something else. Listening to them talk, I have no other words. That's understandable, it's a huge responsibility, but of course it's a team effort. I would like to get a better estimate of the uh, capable students or- Ah, who- of <laughs> I would- <laughs> Screw it, screw it, I'm not even gonna- does anyone come to mind? Shiren looks back and forth between Serena and me, like I actually took part in that conversation. I was kind of just standing there trying not to look too bored. I didn't say a word and they're looking at me with such serious eyes. Hey, Alex, can you do me a favor? Can you ask Caleb if he'd be interested in something like the student council? I'd give him a call, but since you're his roommate and all, it'd be easier. You know what? Every time I've done this route, before, I haven't done it since it's been updated, but every time I've done this little scene, I've always said, wait, count me in. So I'm going to do that. Yes, mate. I'm not sure what's gotten into me, but is it an adrenaline rush? Is it peer pressure? I can't even stop to think about it before I open my mouth. Really, what am I about to get myself into? I don't know about Kalen, but I can definitely get in on this student council thing. Appeal increased. Oh? You didn't seem like the kind of guy who'd want to be involved with something like that. What a nice surprise. Yes, this is an interesting turn of events. This may make out to be quite the year. Let's exchange contact information. I'll keep you updated when classes start. Right now, this is a little more than an idea. Here's my info too. Yes, me. I got both of their deets already. I got a girl's number and an email, so I'll check that later. Oh, just in case neither of you are aware, I asked some staff here and they did confirm there will be an orientation for first year students here today. There will probably be an announcement for it later, so make sure you don't miss it. Yeah! Okay, Shiren, I'll see you later, Mater. <laughs> it was good meeting you, Alex. See you later. 
Yay! I want to join that Pokemon MMA club they have on the back wall there. I'm getting a phone call. My phone was dead silent all day until now. Sometimes I wonder why I even bring it with me. Hello? Hey Alex, it's Caleb. Are you around? I'm at the library right now. It's not too far from the auditorium, so if you're still on the first floor, you can find it opposite the main lounge area where we first met. Just go all the way down that hall and around the corner, same direction. Let's meet up if you're not busy. Library? Alright, I'll see you there. Library it is. Thankfully now I have this brochure to navigate me. Yeah. Walking down the hall, walking down the hall, gonna go to the library. And I really want to read some of the names of them books, but I I just don't have the eyesight for that. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd zoom in, but I, I just don't. I just don't, I just can't. You got, you got it pretty quickly. Do take a seat. It sort of feels weird if I'm the only one sitting here. I may as well. All this time I've either been walking or standing around. I don't think I've sat down since getting off the bus. Anyway, I've been looking over the school curricula after talking to Professor Sycamore. Do you know who Professor Sycamore is? He's currently leading the research for Pokemon Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution is a tricky field and it's one of the biggest mysteries researchers are facing today. But moving on, I got off the phone with the professor because I had a few questions regarding classes schedules for this year. Supposedly, there's an orientation for new students coming up really soon. That'll provide me with more info. Shiren just told me about orientation earlier. As usual, it seems like Caleb has all of his priorities organized. We should, head uh, we should head over to the auditorium as soon as possible. We can check out our room and search afterwards. Sounds good. I swear I just heard something, but... Ah, well. <coughs> oh. Uh, what is it? That girl, Serena. I ran into her again. She wanted to ask if you'd be interested in participating in student council once classes start. Caelan furrowed his eyebrows. I'm not sure if he's taking the message positively or not. Maybe he just likes to take his time thinking. That's a, a heavy topic. Though I'm not surprised Serena would be interested in something like that. I would consider her a very ambitious girl. But to answer your, or rather, her question, I'd have to think hard about it. It's a major responsibility. Hmm. What about you? Have you considered the council? I'm gonna say yes, because I'm not a liar. Are you kidding? I was born to be on the council. Bring it on! I should let Serena and Shiren know about this next time I see them. Interesting. That'll make my decision a bit easier, but we'll see what happens when the time comes. You can tell Serena I'll think about it. Why don't you just contact her and tell her yourself? I don't have her contact information. You don't have her number, but she has yours, mate. You keep deleting her number, don't you? You keep doing what I do when there's a girl that keeps contacting me that I don't want to. You just keep deleting the number and hope that they do the same. Really? She told me she has yours. I don't think he heard me. And orientation, which we will not be sitting through, so I'm going to see how long we've been recording for. 23 minutes. It's impressive how many first year students are stuffed in here. I can't tell what Caleb's thinking, but he seems unfazed by the site. People won't stop coming in. There has to be a few hundred in here at this point. Back in Kanto, aside from the big city towns, it'd be weird to have more than a few hundred students in a single grade. Then again, students from all over the world are enrolled here. If I think about it that way, a couple hundred for one grade is pretty selective. Come on, let's move up. We're clogging the entrance. Oh god, what? Yeah, yeah, we've we've seen this. So, I don't know. I don't like rereading stuff, especially when I played it all recently. What kind of terrible speaker makes a sound like that? La 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 la. Who was that? La la la. I'll kill you. Flannery, not here. Unf. Need to lay off the lava cookies, girl. Try that again. Sabrina's just there, like, what are you saying, mate? With her psychic powers. Come on now, we're on a schedule, get moving! What a scary girl. I hope I don't have to mess with her anytime soon. That's one way to get everyone's- uh, that's one way to get everyone's attention. That's the student council president, Roxanne, a third year. Kaelin pointed to the podium as we stay- uh, eh. pointed to the podium on the stage as we look for a place to sit. I look forward and see a lone female student now standing at the stage's podium. You sure recovered fast. Same to you. Shall we sit before she blows our ears off a second time? Heh, <laughs> knock on wood. And I'm gonna skip through this because we've read it all. Oh! Definitely. I don't want to imagine how hectic- what, what? Scheduling... yeah, we've done schedules. Yeah, this is what we came for, la la la. Huh? I am very confused. What, what is happening? I think I skipped too much. <laughs> Two hours is hardly enough time to cover all the material. That's not quite what I was implying. But seriously, one class for two hours? If I had a Pokemon with me, I'd sooner spend two hours in Mount Moon with no repels. I like that joke. 
an hour of the type elective. I'll be specializing in two Pokemon types, only two out of 18. I glance in Kalen's direction. He didn't even flinch. Did he know about this? Wow, I wish Professor Oak told me this kind of stuff before making me come here. Gym class, uh, electives, keep that in mind. I do hope so. La 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 la. I don't like reading that. It, it just. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Alex? About what? That speech? Well, I guess that's something too. I'm more focused on the class scheduling part. We're completely set on the room situation, so there's nothing left for us to do there. It'll be tough picking two type electives out of 18, and we'll have different instructors and classmates depending on the types we choose. Should we go back and get this sorted out? Hold up, shouldn't we look for Serena? She's got to be around here, right? Kalem doesn't look too excited. I'm having second thoughts about holding him back, but I did give Serena my word. If you want, that's fine with me. Here goes then. Let's give Serena a ring. Alex, I didn't expect to hear from the I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. I'm judging from the background noise, you're at the orientation too? Yeah, I'm with Kalem right now. What about you? I'm toward the stage. Chiren wanted to talk to Roxanne, so I'm kind of just hanging around right now. Alex, hand me your phone for a sec. I'll talk to her. Go for it. Yes, mate. You hand your phone to Kalem. Hey, Serena? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, Alex told me before. Listen though, that's kind of... And he walks away with my phone. Evil man! Why would you do that? Can you imagine, right? You give your phone to someone because they need to phone it, and they just start walking away with it. You'd be so scared. You'd be so scared because he doesn't know the guy. He's only spoken to him for like... He's only known him for like half a day, and he's given him his phone to talk to someone, and he starts walking away. So I would freak if that was me. Wait, really? I hope he realizes that's my phone he's, he's holding. I try to follow Caleb closely without disturbing the conversation, but I'm not making any effort to hide myself. But even while eavesdropping, I'm getting nothing from Caleb's side. Yeah. Yes, I got it, Serena. No, I'm telling you, I do. You really don't need to bring that up again. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Doesn't seem like Caleb cares if I listen in on the conversation. Not like I understand what's going on anyway. Was I even wrong back then? Think about it. I thought you didn't want to talk about it anymore, so why bring it up now? <sighs> okay. The point for now is that you shouldn't have made had to make eh. Ugh. The point for now is that you shouldn't have to make Alex act as your personal messenger. Oh, what? Is that really what this is about? Me volunteering to help out here and there shouldn't be grounds for any argument. It's not a big deal at all. I react by waving my hands in front of Caleb, giving him a big grin. I really hope I'm getting the message across, or I'd look pretty silly right now. And even if he doesn't mind. Nice, he understands. It's still an inconvenience. What? There isn't an inconvenience. I'm not sure what he's thinking, but he's blowing this up way out of proportion. I wanted to say something, but it suddenly dawned on me that this stuff must happen all the time between them. Me saying something would just make this more complicated. Dot 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 dot. You can call me, you don't have to worry. I'm not bothered by that. I'm not lying. Yeah, I'll give it some thought. I'm heading back to class to start registration. Um, yeah, I'm heading back to start class registrations. You should probably do the same. I'm handing the phone back to Alex, alright? Again, don't worry about it. Okay, then returned your phone. The mood became a little tense. How do I follow up after that? Hello? Serena hung up already. Because she doesn't want to talk to you, mate! She wants Caleb. I don't know if I should feel relieved or disappointed. More importantly, that conversation didn't exactly sound very healthy. Caleb, you guys, uh... You know what? It's not my business, sorry. No, it's fine, Alex. We're roommates, so it wouldn't be fair to keep you in the dark. I mentioned before that Serena and I are neighbors from our hometown of Vanneville. We also grew up in the company of each other. Childhood friends is her way of describing us. I don't think I've mentioned that. The gist is, we've come a long way, and frankly, I'm kind of tired. But still, I feel somewhat obligated to at least hear her out whenever I can. And Serena knows this? That you're only listening to her because you feel obligated to? Perhaps. I wouldn't press the issue, though. I would like to believe that we at least understand each other on a passable level. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I suppose every friendship can't be perfect. Alright, enough delays, let's head back. Oh man, I think Serena and Caleb are both pretty cool, but if the two of them are going to be butting heads like this, I'd rather not be caught in between them. I'll leave that issue to the future, Alex. Present Alex is ready to call it a day. And speaking of calling it a day, that's where we're going to end, end this episode off. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's not going to have been a great episode, I understand this, but... Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's, yeah, when I'm hungover, I can't exactly record great. So, I'm going to have to leave it here. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode, where things should hopefully get quite interesting. So, see you all later, guys. Bye-bye.